Hey, thanks so much for being here. Welcome or welcome back. I hope that you can see some of my pages. Lately, I have been having issues with my focus on the camera and I have no clue how to fix it. So I'm continuing to try to, to um, provide content, I guess, but at the same time trying to learn how to fix this thing. So hopefully you can still kind of follow through my planning. Um, I still wanted to share this with you. I am doing a review for what I have been doing for the month of June and how I want to approach the month of July and I'm going to be doing some planning in my new Filofax personal ranks and uh, I just kind of wanted to take you along so if you're interested I hope you stick around so um in here I have just two months I started using this planner on the 17th of June I did two videos already I believe on the setup and why I moved into it and how is it that I'm using it so I'm going to link those two below in case you're interested one of them is super long because I was kind of trying to go through the inserts and making sure that I was using or having in here the ones that meant um, that they were important to me and then the second video is just talking about how I'm using it as my one book uh, for the month of July so uh, yeah so those will be linked below but um, but yeah so I started using the planner as my main planner on the 17th of June I have been enjoying the fact that I can just reach for one planner only at the beginning of the day during the day and then in the evening um, it just feels more um, it makes me feel more in control and more relaxed about the actual plans um, and it doesn't make me feel like I have an extra chore to do and um, and I I know that's very strong when when we talk about planners when we call it chores but uh, but truly if if I, I decided that if I'm feeling that way I am going to switch the things and minimize if I have to and that's what I'm doing so um, so far yeah so far it's been working and I will see how that goes for the entire month of July I am planning on sticking to this only planner and hopefully I can find my way through um, even if I have to update the inserts and change a few things um, but the month of July will be that testing full month for me so um <clears throat> The actual monthlies, I decided to create it myself. This is sort of like my Bucho bullet journal setup approach where I do keep it simple and more mimicking the other planners that I've been using, especially the Hobonichi Weeks, which is my favorite, um, but also allowing me to be a little bit more creative in what I'm doing. So I did went ahead and set up the monthly overview for the June and July. I don't have anything else. I'm thinking I'm going to do August just so I can forward plan a few things that I know will happen on, on the month of August. August. So, um, so yeah, but that's not going to happen right now. I just want to review the month of June and set up a few things for the month of July. So for the month of June, the one thing that I loved from here was, I, I think, well, a few things. Um, I liked to have a place for keys in, in terms of color coding um, because since it is a smaller space, it allows me to add more information without actually having to write everything. I just use the colors to highlight the specific areas I'm tracking and that's working. So in here, I'm tracking the areas I'm focusing for the next 12 weeks. So, and I just gave them colors and that's how I'm tracking those. And uh, the other thing I'm liking is the um, the tracker in the monthly. Um, I might switch this around and maybe put it sideways. I think I like that better. Um, I'm thinking I might do that. But for now, it's working just fine. I have it here at the bottom where I'm tracking the most important things for me during the month. Instead of adding them only to the weeklies, I just have them in the actual monthly overview. And then on the weeks, what I'll do is, <clears throat> what I've been doing is just adding a few things that I'm focusing just for that week. So, for example, here, um, uh, let's see, I wanted to make sure that I was drinking my water, which is something that I can do every single week, but I just want to switch things around until, like, for example, if I do get used to drinking my water and it becomes a habit, then I could just remove that and, and switch it for something else. Um, whether, we, whether or not we did laundry, that's something that I don't have to see 
a monthly overview of. I just want to make sure that I ha um, have a reminder sort of in my weeklies to remind me to get it done if I haven't. So, um, but yeah, this the tracker is working, the key, the color code is working. And even the spacing of the actual monthly, it's actually working for what's important and it's making me um, ensure that I only add what is important to, to me to see at the end of the month. So um, we had family visiting visiting for a week, so it was important to me to know that that week was going to be blocked in terms of productivity. I just wanted to ensure that everything was done before then and, um, and if I had to do anything within those two this, those days I wanted to be minimal so <clears throat> the space to highlight that that was uh, perfect and then for appointments and stuff that's the same thing um, just kind of making sure that I use my colors code to highlight and um, and reminders so that's working and I went ahead and set up July in a similar manner the only difference is that in here I decided I wanted to track my 12 week goals in uh, per week sections so um i don't know how to explain it but basically i wanted to for example pink it's personal care and in this case it represents workouts so it represents how many days of the week of this week i did my workouts so it looks like i did two two days two days two days one day one day and then the blue dark blue is for school uh school work so whether or not i worked in a paper or red or went through my lectures and stuff so here i just spent one day doing that two days two days one and one so yeah um and then uh, for july i left it open for to do's and i think i'm gonna leave it like that just gonna add a list of things that i that come to mind that i want to complete on the month of july and then just have that as my main reminder instead of using this little list which i can still create anyways it just it doesn't really hurt anything just to have another reminder on the actual weekly to have um the to-dos that are running for the month and kind of go through those every single day when I open my planner even though I do open the monthly overview which is it's a habit I go to the monthly check it out and make sure that um you know that it is updated and that the things that I went beforehand are completed if we have any appointments and stuff like that and then from there I go to my weekly and update the week and go through my goals, my trackers, my reminders, and to-dos, and then um, from there I move on to the next section. So yeah, enough enough with the explanations. So I think I have done that enough enough of that um, on the other two videos. So uh, hopefully you can uh, check those out and uh, find more insightful information in there. So for now I'm just going to go ahead and um, just kind of remove things around move things around I guess since we're starting a new month I want to kind of start fresh what I'll do is I'm just going to quietly do my planning and I might pop in and tell you what I'm working on or um, any anything any comments that I have and if for some reason I have to stop the video before um, I get to that I will go back tomorrow and finish um, and do the final um, chat or walkthrough of what I did and stuff like that
Okay, so I think I did my updates for the month of July so far, at least for the first week. So i um, just going to go really quick through it. Um, basically, I already explained what I was going to do anyways, but but just bear with me. So I went in and I moved around things for July, for June. So for example, here in my content creator, my content creation or my content uh, publication schedule, whatever we want to call it, um, tracker, I went ahead and moved it to the actual month of June and I'm going to leave it there for now. And I have been using uh, color dots to highlight the best videos for the month um and oh, performance just to kind of learn a little bit um how can i apply that information moving forward i'm still consider myself very new to the youtube world and truly i when i post content is purely because i enjoy it and i want to talk about the pages and how this sort of hobby can help you be more productive and focused and intentional with your time and um, and actually have fun through the process, you know, not not necessarily keeping it all too serious. Um, <clears throat> so um, I have been doing that for at least, I think, I want to say seriously, uh, it's been about a year um, where I have been constantly posting stuff, consciously making sure that I am showing up every week, uh, regardless of whether it's a planned content or a spontaneous content. Um, but I do want to learn what works best. So I have been trying with different methods here and there. So this is one uh, approach that I've been taking lately, just to kind of have an overview, hopefully at the end of the year, of what topics work, work the best and all of that stuff. So I moved that to June. I went ahead and just kind of checked everything um, as far as uh, reminders and stuff. I do have to kind of update these reminders and move around um, anything that I have to migrate to the month of July which um, truly is just tracking um, things that I want to uh, complete. So let's see. Um, these are things that I still got to do for July. So I do want to move that. Um, I'm probably going to move those here. And um, everything else is pretty much already set in terms of the monthly overview. I don't want to over pre-plan the month ahead. I just want to plug in the most important things that are happening just to kind of remember um, that I want to block those days off. So for example, um, this weekend, we're going to have a family over. So when that happens, I, d I try to, to plan ahead whatever it is that I want to complete on those days. I want to get the, get it scheduled or complete beforehand. So that's what I did here. I just kind of pre-planned what I wanted to do for the week. So my family will arrive on the, the Friday. So I know that that from Monday to Thursday is when I have the chunk of things that I want to complete beforehand. And there's all the other things that I did add ahead um, in terms of budget. I think I want to um, start taking out cash from um, my account for the month for expenses that are related to entertainment because I think that's where we spend the most. We kind of get carried away when we are out and about and just by the end of the month when we add all of that up that's I think that's one of the highest um, expenses that we have so I want to create a budget take the cash out and then only use that cash and once it's gone it's gone so that's the plan we'll see how that goes so I did add a reminder here to go and get that cash um, to edit my budget spreadsheets on the first which is something that I do um, most of the time um, and then just added other things that I want to complete like study um, create a content schedule the content and uh, and then tidy up and have everything ready for family so everything is available uh, like towels and stuff like that you know um, so I don't have to kind of keep on uh, working on that while they are here I just want to be fully available to them and spend time so that's the plan then I went ahead and moved my content planning to here and this time around I just used the entire page and created four months in one um, if you want to know how I use this let me know and I'll do another video just for this and um, I think this has been very helpful when it comes to kind of brainstorming ideas and what I want to plan and how I want to plan them to make sure that they are chron chronological to a point because I do know that my plans change over time so something that I might film today it might change the next month or the next week and it might become irrelevant sometimes I still share it with you guys because it can relate with somebody um, 
but um but yeah it has been very helpful so here i just have ideas of things that i want to talk about through the month and i just have that in the weekly here and the idea is that i'm going to grab these two every week and move them around with me so this is my content tracking and my personal habits tracker and then i have my uh, weekly overview here and all i did was add a note here to work on my goals or my focus for the month since we're starting a new month i'd like to start fresh and i like to review my goals even though I just set them for the next 12 weeks. I still want to review, make sure that they are still relevant and stuff like that. So that's basically what I did. And then the other thing that I did, I think I skipped all of this and I just went to my um, to my journal entry, which is what I have been doing lately here, back here, just um, add a date sticker, which I have been loving so far. I'm thinking about switching the paper to cream paper, but I do have a stash of the white one, so I'm not sure yet. So, um, because I think it will look better with the stickers. But um, if you want to check this out, I found a deal of um, two years of stickers for the price of one. So I'm going to link that below. I have been linking that below on the last few, video last few videos. And uh, hopefully when you get to it, the deal is still going on. Um, but I found that was the most um, affordable option and that provides two years so yeah so I've been adding the sticker and it just jotting down whatever it is that I'm grateful for usually that's what I do every uh, morning just kind of write down um, that I'm thankful for having a new day an opportunity and what I'm looking forward to the day and then just leave it there and then at the end of the day I'll just come back and fill it in um, with whatever happened throughout the day so sometimes I write more sometimes less so but it's free to just use the, the space as I want and I have been enjoying dividing the page in two so it, it just looks better and it gives me a, just enough space for me to feel like I don't have to keep on writing 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 um and but right enough um but yeah I do have to divide these I just have a few here and I just restash um as I need and that's pretty much it so that's basically what I do in terms of updating my planner um every pretty much I guess I go into more uh more intense uh, preset um, at the end of the month because I want to review my previous month and I do want to make sure that the next month, the new month ahead, it's clear in terms of what I want to accomplish and stuff like that. So, um, but basically I still, um, that's, that's at the end of the month. And then at the, every week on Sundays, I still do my reviews, making sure that I'm still on track and that I am, um, um you know uh, i have a plan ahead of time i'd like to have my my plan for the week ahead so i go ahead and on sundays so, so today actually is sunday today's sunday and um i just uh went with you with the preset for for the next week but i still have other things that i want to do today so at the end of the day today i will come over here and make sure that all of those got updated so like my trackers then i'll sh um the I'll, I will double check the monthly again make sure that everything got completed migrate notes and reminders if i have to and move on um and also we'll do my um uh, overview for the month even though i do have a few things that i want to um focus on on this week and i already know that i still want to have an overview for the entire month so next video i will share with you will be about how i'm creating this insert for my planner and the inspiration i'm using to um set those up um if you're interested on that i do i invite you to like and subscribe and um hit that bell as well so you know when that video is live um, and what I'm talking about is I'm just going to have a few of these inserts already made and just talk to you about why I'm doing that and um, the different setups and layouts that I'll be using for the month of July. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and create the entire month ahead of time and the purpose of that is to have the setups ready. So every Sunday I'll just have to sit down and um, plan my week and also test different layouts. So if you're interested in that, like I said, I hope that you subscribe, like and subscribe so you can be notified. And until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.